Let's take a look at command line concepts, the wildcard character in grep. Let's begin by taking a look at the manual for grep. The manual pages for grep specify how to use grep. We observe that grep can be called providing a pattern. The pattern then searches through a file or through standard input if no files are named. We're going to take a look now at one of the forms that the pattern can take. The pattern that grep regular expressions can take are specified later on in the grep man page. We'll scroll down to find that section. A grep regular expression, as we see, is a pattern. That pattern is used to specify a set of strings which we want to extract from the text. Many times in regular expressions, we wish to match any character, or in other words, a wildcard match. This character in grep, regular expressions, is the dot, or period, character. When used in a grep, regular expression, dot is a meta character. Specifically, this meta character will match any single character in that character position. Let's try to use the dot character in a regular expression. We will use a text file that contains alphabetically sorted words. Each word in this file is, a, is one line of text. Now, let's use a regular expression in grep to search through this file. This command will match any line of text in the file if that line contains the characters you n, and something else in that order. The something else can be any character, including space and punctuation marks. We can see that grep has printed all of the lines from the specified file that contain U, N, something, where the something is any character. Note that there is no restriction as to where in the line the match has to occur. Throughout this file, there are lines with matches at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end, and potentially even more than one match in the same line. Let's try using a regular expression with one more dot, an additional wildcard. This command now matches any line of the text in the file if it contains the characters u, n, something, something. In other words, four characters beginning with u, n.
four characters beginning with U, N. We can see that grep has again printed the lines containing matches, and matches may occur anywhere along the line of text. Note that this no longer returns a match for the word young, Y-O-U-N-G, because young contains U-N followed by only one other character, whereas our regular expression has two dots, two wild characters, requiring two characters to follow UN. If we, if we pipe just this word to grep using the same regular expression, we can verify that grep fails to match this word against this pattern.